Harry designed a special engagement ring by Lorraine Schwartz before proposing to Meghan in November 2017. She's now been pictured in another controversial ring from the celebrity love designer. Meghan joined her husband for date night at the West Hollywood private members club San Vicente Bungalows on Tuesday night. It was her accessories that caught our attention. On a pinky finger, Meghan wore her mysterious pinky ring, which was made by celebrity jeweler Lorraine Schwartz and reportedly worth an estimated $62,000. It features a square-shaped diamond in the middle. There have long been questions about the origin of the pinky ring, which Meghan has worn on a number of occasions. In 2021, Prince Harry and Meghan denied claims that the ring was fashioned with diamonds, gifted to the couple by a mystery donor in the Middle East. They said the ring was sourced by a stylist on the shoot directly from the designer, and that there was no link to a mystery donor in the Middle East. But in a spectacular U-turn, they later rolled back the denial and clarified that they were referring to a different ring. There was no further mention made of the Lorraine Schwartz ring in question on her right hand, begging the question of whether Meghan has something to hide about the provenance of the diamond, which was first seen on a finger in October 2020. If the diamonds did indeed come from the Middle East, it's not clear if Meghan received the gift while she was still a working royal or after she performed her final official duties in early March of that year. She didn't visit the region officially, but there's always the possibility she made a private trip. Buckingham Palace only publishes a list of gifts received by royals while on duty in the UK or overseas and there's no public record of Meghan being given any diamonds. Gifts sent to the royal outside of an official engagement are recorded but not made public. Meghan was given loose diamonds at the same time she was given the earrings. But there was a buzz when she first wore this ring because it was associated with Lorraine Schwartz as the designer who didn't know the origin of the diamond and she was stressed to learn that the diamond was associated with the Saudis after she crafted it for Meghan. Since then, Meghan hasn't acquired any other jewellery from Lorraine Schwartz because Lorraine Schwartz doesn't want to be associated with her. Meghan wore the blood-soaked jewellery to a state dinner in Fiji in October 2018, three weeks after the murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi, which a US justice report found was authorised by Mohammed bin Salman. Writing in Courtiers, The Hidden Power Behind the Crown, Valentin Lowe quotes a source saying, We made a decision not to confront Meghan and Harry on it, out of fear for their reaction. The following month, the former Suits actress wore the earrings again to then Prince Charles's 70th birthday party at Buckingham Palace. An aide then allegedly took the matter up with Harry, who's said to have looked shocked that people knew where the jewels had come from. A senior aide allegedly raised concerns about her difficult demands, to which she snapped, it's not my job to coddle people. She was also accused of leaving others shaking and in tears amid the febrile atmosphere, but the Duchess denied the allegations and accused aides of launching a calculated smear campaign against her.